It is uh, the most modern and advanced trade agreement ever made, actually. And it opens up fantastic possibilities for entrepreneurs and companies and consumers in Europe, but also in Canada. And it strengthens, of course, the very tight friendship and alliance we have with our Canadian friends. Canada is uh, so the, our 12th trading partner. It's about 60 billion a year of trading goods. About with less than 30 billion trading services. It's a huge investor in Europe. There's more than 120 billion of Canadian uh, euros of Canadian investment in Europe. Nous sommes présents depuis une quinzaine d'années au Canada maintenant, ce qui représente environ 10% de notre chiffre d'affaires, avec environ 150 000 bouteilles à l'année. L'accord signé et négocié entre l'Union européenne et le Canada peut nous permettre d'améliorer nos, nos échanges avec le Canada dans le sens où on pourrait avoir plus de compétitivité. On est aussi beaucoup plus présent sur le marché canadien, donc on a une visibilité plus importante. Euh, on devient attractif pour euh, le tourisme aussi, donc plus de personnes qui viennent sur Sancerre. On accueille énormément de clients canadiens qui, qui aiment nos vins. Donc euh, tout ça reste très positif et très intéressant en termes d'échanges euh, également euh, euh, humains avec euh, le Canada. Dredging equipment is excluded from the Coastal Trade Act by CETA, so that will help us to use our foreign equipment in Canada. It's not our intention to uh, take over the market of the local contractors, but it's uh, our intention to join forces with them and to work together to bigger projects which are, were not feasible before. But Canada is a big country. Quantities to Canada are more and more important. Canadians are very fond of Italian PDO cheeses in, in general, Grana Padano and Parmigiano Reggiano in particular. I expect advantages from CETA agreement. We expect benefit will to impact positively on turnover, new jobs and positive spillover on the communities where we are operating. We have around 1200 employees worldwide. Out of them, 1,000 are in uh, Europe, around 700 are here in Germany. In Canada, the electrical approvals are different to the EU. This is for us a kind of a challenge since we have to adapt our products for the Canadian need. And this is increasing our prices, which makes us difficult to be competitive compared to local manufacturers. We believe that due to the CETA agreement, we can improve our situation. That means that we can increase our market share in Canada. The Canadians have very similar view to the ones we have about uh, not only the value of free trade and, and the free economy, but also how you should regulate that economy and how you should make sure that free trade does not damage public policy interests. It simplifies uh, access to the uh, Canadian markets. We have access to their public procurement on all levels and they're actually planning for a lot of investment in public procurement where we could bid. And it also makes it easier for our service companies to have access to the market and for the staff who work in the service companies to temporarily come and provide that service. And it also includes a very ambitious chapter on uh, sustainable development, where we commit to together work on issues such as uh, good environment, uh, labour standards, etc.